Hey, good evening. How are all of my beautiful Cancer or Soul family members out there doing? My name's Morty. Welcome to tonight's tarot read. <clears throat> so tonight I'm doing a read for the sign of Cancer, and this will be for mid-April through the end of the month, so the last two weeks in April. Cancer, we just want to see what kind of prominent energies you have uh, ahead of you a little later in the month. Uh, see if we can give you little heads up on what to anticipate, what to expect, so that you can be better prepared stepping into that period of time, uh, better prepared to attract stronger, positive, higher vibrations, better prepared to avoid those limiting, lower vibrating frequencies. Yeah, I mean, so your sun sign might be Cancer, your moon arising may be Cancer. You may just be checking up on a Cancer or maybe you're just intuitively guided to be here. Either way, welcome, I'm happy to have you. Uh, the date is April 6th, and the time is like, I don't know, it's like 1.45 a.m. <laughs> it's like in the wee hours of the night, uh, but no better time than the present. So I'm excited to be here and excited to be doing Cancer's Read for you. Um, cancer, beautiful zodiac sign. Uh, you guys could be a little sensitive, right? Uh, very intuitive. Uh, what is it about the water signs and their intuition? Um, creative, spontaneous, faithful, loving. You can be a little emotional at times. I mean, you're family people. Uh, you're the crabs. Uh, pessimistic, you can be moody, right? You can be a little bit clingy. Nice. Did I mention overly emotional at times? Anyways, uh, those are just some of the some of the fun qualities that uh, don't have to be true for every cancer, but in general they're pretty true. So, I mean, we all have them, right? We all have these qualities that are uplifting. Then we have others that are just a little more limiting, right? That restrict us in ways. That's kind of our challenge. Try to overcome those. I mean it. That's what makes the world go round. It creates this beautiful diversity for all of us to be able to experience. Okay. Um, by the way, I want to put a shout out. I want to thank all of you guys for all your love and support that you've shared with me here on this channel. I mean, honestly, I, I read all the comments. Um, it's great to connect with you guys. I love seeing you guys connect with each other in the comments. I, to see you, you uh, stepping up and sharing thoughts and feelings and suggestions of, of your own, trying to help out others, right? That are just complete strangers, but you're willing to open up your heart to them, right? And to recognize and identify and the compassionate side of you. It's beautiful. I love it. I mean, honestly, I call the stasis Love and Abundance Tarot, and I'm all about creating as much love and abundance as possible. <clears throat> um, all of you that have donated right towards the channel this is how I this is what I do so this is how I live so thank you I can't begin to thank you enough um, and all of you have ordered personal reads this is a general read for the collective of cancer um, but if you're interested in a personal read I do those too uh, in the description below just send me an email but it's tarot love and abundance at gmail um, Send me an email and I, for $40, I send you a private link to a 30 minute read that's for you specifically. So it gets a lot more interesting. Anyways, that's of interest to you, just let me know. But the other thing that I need to mention to you is, is so my belief is, I believe that each and every one of us are creators, right? We're creators of our own universe. So knowing that, as long as we're all creators, why would we not try to create the best possible outcome for ourselves? So that's what I'm trying to do in these, in these tarot readings. I recognize the limiting energies. They're there, they're in the cards. You have to, it's truth, you have to recognize them, but you don't have to stay stuck in them. And I'm all about learning what it takes to like work our way through that energy, right? In order for us to be able to attract and bring in as much love and abundance as possible. Love and abundance. Okay, Cancer. First thing I want to do is pull a, an affirmation card for you. Just to see which affirmation would be best suited for you to hear, taking you into your tarot read. 
I pre-shuffled my decks, but I like to shuffle them one more time. Then I split the deck three times. I pull the bottom card. <clears throat> and it tells me what your affirmation is. The number 42. I'm going to need my glasses. Organization. Beautiful affirmation. Cancer, what do you have going on? <laughs> Purpose, planning, efficiency, now come to me so easily. Purpose, planning, efficiency, now come to me so easily. Purpose, planning, efficiency, now come to me so easily. So Cancer, you have a lot going on right now, right? Organization is something that would serve you very well. So I kind of have a hunch that you have a lot going on. You're stepping into a, maybe a time in your life where you're getting ready to have a lot going on. So, I mean, you need to like get prepared for it. You need to plan ahead. I call that right there, perfect shuffle. <laughs> okay, Cancer, so what I'm doing now is I'm pulling a bottom card. I want to see what the opening energy is taking you into your tarot reading today. And you have a great energy. Cancer, you have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands, uh, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Um, it's the energy that it represents, right? Like all night energies, this is a night that shows up. And how does this night show up? He makes, a, he makes a, a, quite an entrance. I mean, his horse is back on its hind legs, right? Everybody sees it coming. It's that kind of energy. It's very passionate, very energetic, very excited about life, excited about things. Um, so Cancer, this is telling me whatever you're going into, you know, stepping into uh, mid-April, right? You're passionate about it. You're very excited. Uh, it, really has you, it really has you revved up. Just the important thing to note with this particular energy is this energy is, it's very motivating. It can sweep both men and women off their feet, right? Very, he's a charmer, um, but it could be a fickle energy. Meaning sometimes we get moving so fast, right? We, we think we have what we want and we, when we have it, we realize we don't want it anymore. So just giving you a heads up on that. Okay, Cancer, we have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a relationship card. This represents the energy of two energies coming together, coming together in union, in unconditional love and trust. For many of you, it's a romantic relationship, one that you're already in or one that's coming in. For others, it could be a business relationship, but it's a relationship of trust. It's two people that care deeply for one another. Okay, coming in next to that, we have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands represents the energy of what may feel like it's been a long journey for you, Cancer, finally coming to an ending. Uh, the horse has been carrying the man and his burdens in the heat of the sun all day long. He's tired. He needs rest. The man looks tired too. There's a lot of burdens on that horse, like maybe he was not only carrying his burdens, but the burdens of a lot of other people. But cancer's letting you know this, this journey is coming to an ending, which is a great thing. cards. Okay, those shot out. Okay, so coming in next to the Ten of Wands, Cancer, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is a good energy. It represents the energy of perfecting what it is you do, especially as it pertains to your career, your work, becoming the best at it. 
is mastering your skills. It's really devoting yourself to your job. It's an energy that serves you very well. Okay, we now have the Page of Swords. Page of, page of Swords be an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, be younger energy if that's the case. Uh, bringing a message to you, right? It's a message of truth. the five of swords so five of swords represents the energy of it's a limiting energy uh, it could be the energy of feeling like somebody stabbed you in the back or thinking that somebody had your back when in fact they didn't there's two swords in their back two may have significant meaning to you to some of you yeah I mean This becomes whatever we choose for it to become for us, right? Um, meaning, if we think of it as being painful and super uncomfortable, right? Disappointing, shocking, right? Then our thoughts expand, right? So it becomes that. If we can find it within us to forgive, right? And we have those energies, those energies expand. And that's what serves you best, Cancer. So coming in under the Two of Cups, we have the Death Card or the Devil Card, uh, the card of Capricorn. Uh, so some of you could be in a relationship with a Capricorn or be pretty close to a Capricorn. Pan in the background is playing his flute. Right, he's trying to play this tune to woo her over underneath this pomegranate tree where she'll partake of the fruit. It looks like he's doing a pretty good job. This represents our ego, right? our fears. It's coming in under the Two of Cups. Coming in under the Ten of Wands, we now have the Ten of Swords, right? So it's the Ten of Wands is the long journey coming to an ending. Ten of Swords is completion. It truly ending, right? Painful journey. Ten swords impaled in her back. She lays on the ground, right? Painful journey, but it's over. Good job, Cancer. Okay, coming in under the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands represents, uh, it's a good energy. Cancer's letting you know you have a journey ahead of you. I don't know, maybe this is part of your organization, right? your planning, your preparation, maybe preparing yourself for this journey that's ahead of you. The figure in the card sits on the side of this hill and she pulls out a crystal ball. She lets the sun gleam into it, right? And it sends off these two beams of light, right? That tells me maybe you're going on this journey with somebody else, Cancer. Hmm. Maybe this two of cups kind of relationship. If I said 10 earlier, I, I made a mistake, it's two. So two of cups is like, it's a newer love, right? For some, it's a fresh relationship. For others, if you're in an existing relationship, right? It's new energies that you share between the two of you. 
getting ready to set out on a beautiful journey. cards. Alright, tell us more, Cancer. Tell us more. Okay, beautiful. <clears throat> so, Cancer, coming in under the Page of Swords, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a beautiful card. It's a card of abundance, right? This is incredible abundance. This is an abundance of abundance. This is abundance in all things. Uh, material, finances, uh, comfort, security, love, kindness, friendships. Validation, recognition. I mean, it's abundant in its fullest form. It's a beautiful energy for you, Cancer. So you're stepping into a very abundant time in your life. Looking at three tens in your read. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Coming in under the Five of Swords, we have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups represents... Uh, water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, right? So this would be your card, your energy. Um, this is your knight in shining armor. He comes in on a unicorn, full moon, treading water, no less, right? So there's a lot of emotion, a lot of feeling behind this energy. It's coming in under the five of swords. So, I don't know, Cancers. For some of you, what I think this represents is... <clears throat> Whatever this, whatever this represents to you, right? That there's maybe truth and understanding, right? Well, there is truth. Truth that comes to you by way of the Page of Swords. And it's just truth that's delivered to you that clears everything up, right? It brings you your, the energy of the knight in shining armor. Okay, Cancer. Energy taking us out of your reading is the Five of Wands. Five of Wands represents the energy of uh, arguing. Little verbal disputes, breakdown in communication. Right? Yeah, so I don't know, I mean, this is the energy taking us out of your reading, Cancer. So I think what this is, what this is pointing out is that um, whatever kind of breakdown in communication that you've experienced, it looks like it goes away gets cleared up I think it's connected to that five of swords I'm already doing your read here I need to okay cancer I need to take a moment I need to look at the cards and I need to see and feel what it is they're trying to tell me and I need to see where they're placed in terms of relationship with each other so hang on just a few moments I'll come right back and I'll share your whole read with you start to finish um, listen to the soothing sounds of the background music or you can fast forward either way. I encourage you to just kind of park and just enjoy these soothing sounds. Yeah, I mean, cancer, uh, I see it. I can see it and I can feel it for you. Um, I can see why you got this affirmation of organization because you have a lot going on. A lot of moving parts and pieces. Energy taking us into your reading today's Knight of Wands, right? As you're passionate, you're excited, all fired up. 
these new beginnings. You're excited. It's kind of like feeling like born again in many ways. Some of you are going in right into a brand new relationship, right? Two of Cups. Passionate. Very passionate relationship. You're very excited. Right? Two energies that are crazy for one another, right? You may already be with this person, but you're raising your vibration for both of you. For others, it's a brand new relationship, but it is passionate. Cancer, right? Whatever this long journey represents to you in your life, right? This with a lot of lessons to it. It all comes to an ending for you. It's beautiful. Nice job. Great work. I mean, it, it frees up your energies, right? For you to be able to take on new exciting energies like this two of cups kind of energy. I don't know, I think, I mean, for some of you cancers, right? I think you may be getting ready to step into a great adventure as it pertains to something that with your work, right? With your career. I don't know, you could be changing, shifting, getting promoted, right? Uh, Good things, good things are happening. Why? Because you've been devoting yourself, right? Dedicating yourself to your job. And it's taking you, it's propelling you forward. Those cards are at the center of your read, Cancer. You're stepping into a very abundant time in your life very abundant right and some of you you have this page of swords coming in could be an air sign energy Aquarius Gemini Libra and so be younger kind of energy right bring you a message bring you truth what's this truth about this truth is about whatever this energy represents to you right something that's happened in the past um, you now have an understanding what this is truly all about uh, and it's not so personal anymore for you cancer you're able to release so many of these limiting energies and this color right here in the center really pops out to me it represents healing and unconditional love so I feel like you you heal from this cancer and from that right, it takes you towards love brings love into your life Knight of Cups kind of love. Beautiful love. And this limiting energy, this breakdown in communication, this disconnect, it goes away. Good for you, Cancer. <laughs> okay, Cancer. Uh, I really enjoyed giving you your read here. You had a fantastic read. I'm still in it, actually. Um, yeah, you have a very exciting second half of April to look forward to. I'm very happy for you. Wishing you guys the very best. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share this read with you. Thanks, Cancer.